welcome back to another video. This is like part two. Uh, I forgot to mention on the previous video, well, I talked about refining my light, reactivating it. I had to prove to myself that the light was always there, it never left. And that is very hard to do when you made the same mistakes I did in the past. Uh, I'm just gonna say it. Back then, I was a Satanist, uh, floating from Luciferin to... I actually not so much Luciferin. I thought about it, but didn't. It was more more about uh, the Satanic Bible. Turns out they were just atheist Satanism. Yeah, that's how they are. Atheist, but they're also Satanism. They view Satan as a power. Not so much a person. Uh, so it was kind of bouncing between that and another brand of Satanism, but the thing is, I drew a lot of uh, demons to me, and then even when I broke out of that uh, religion and wound up being on the Wiccan spiritual Buddhism path, what happened? Okay, I left Satanism, I left the occult. Demons tried to attack me, and I do mean that, literally, uh, I had to call upon my Holy Guardian Angel to deal with the problem. It worked, and the light never left. It, it protected me. It guided me. Things happen for a reason. Without the dipping my toes into the craziness of the occult, I would not be here right now. I would have not found my mission, so to speak. Uh, only because, for some reason, I had the stupid idea of, okay, we have all these sub-branches of Satanism. Why not unite them all? under one banner. Yeah, that was that was a dumb idea because I got a lot of crazies and people didn't really understand and I got a lot of hate. But yeah. Basically the occult said, okay, you're darkness, you embrace dark, you become this total bad person, this badass who doesn't care about anyone but themselves. Selfishness, nar narcissism, abuse others, control them, mental abuse, blah blah blah. Uh, the demon inside me, literally. Uh, yeah, I kept saying, oh, the devil told me to do it. No. Well, somewhat, and but no, it... You have to own up to your own accents, and I had to be called a, a demon many years and later just made me go back to that time while I was in the occult, and then it kind of just hit me, you know what? I'm, I was flawed, I didn't know any better, I was, to say the least, dumb, not as bright. And I had to find my light, and I had to leave the darkness. First, find the darkness, leave it, find your light. Get struck by lightning, and get buried back into the dirt, only to find the light again and rise up out of the grave, so to speak. Um, that's how I just, I don't know how I just said that off the top of my head, but yeah.
basically what happened. Uh, that was crazy. Went through the dark night of soul, didn't even know I was going through it. Came out unscathed. No wounds, no scars. But yeah, um... Not many people can understand that. Or even relate to that. Uh, to this methods. So the whole point was for me to say, you know what? I'm not a demon. I'm not darkness. I'm not this evil monster. Because... I had the light all along. I had to re-find it. I had to acknowledge the light was there and never left, despite the chaos in my head and the war within. Despite all that, the light was always there. And that's when the whole activation of the light occurred, because at this point, the light was gone. I was in the ground, dead, so to speak, still carrying forward. Like a zombie, I was reanimated with the light and back up to speed, so to speak. Uh, yeah, I'm just... Feel... no? No. Feels normal to me. Because, once again, 3D, Earth, you go through hell. You come out, go back down. Come out, go back down, and repeat like a phoenix. Or the, the snake reach out of your skin. Yeah, for me, it's a phoenix. Because this time, I was literally an ass. Stone. Crumbled to pieces only to be lit again by fire that I re-found. It, it was crazy, um, feeling what I felt. The whole world shattered. Been in tail it. Kept saying to myself, you know what? I can't heal this moment. I can't heal it. I can't, I can't, I can't. And then somehow, by magic... This conversation to myself occurred, and I found the light again, knowing that it never left, I never wavered, and the light reactivated, I see the light again, I feel the light again, I know it's there, it never left, and I'm like, how did this conversation even happen to begin with, because I kept telling myself, you know what, you know what, I, I can't heal from this, I can't make my peace. And then somehow I do. I don't, how? Again, angels work in mysterious ways. Whatever happened, happened, and mind blown. But, yeah. Only... I will keep this video in a... Mm. Again, trippy. Until we meet again.